Hello, welcome to Mama Sue's Kitchen. I know that many of you are going to say, who eats soup when it's in the high 80s? We do. We love vegetable soup any time of the year. I know it's better maybe in the cold months, but we're gonna be going to Louisiana um, for just a few days and our youngest granddaughter, Maylie's favorite thing that I cook is vegetable soup. And I'm gonna show you, I've told you about this, but I want to show you how you can make vegetable soup that is so easy and you don't have to go out and buy a lot of things. Now, I always start with a quart of tomatoes. And I use canned, those that I canned. If you don't have them, you, I would say buy the petite diced, the big can, and add uh, a half a can of water to it. Now, I'm probably going to add another quart, but do you know how I've told you to save your vegetables, if you or leftovers, anything that you have left over, if it's only a tablespoon, put it in a container, plastic container with a lid. Keep adding to it until it's full. One would be enough probably for a normal size family. But because I'm gonna take this with me to Louisiana, I have two. Now we're gonna see what we have in it. I need to uh, walk over to my sink and just put a little water so it will make it easier to uh, pop out. So let me do that. Okay. On the top I see green beans, but let's just look. Looks like a lasagna of stuff. These are peas, when I turned it over. Peas, that's purple whole peas. I save my rice and green beans. That's all that was in this one. Let me see what's in this one. Okay, this is kind of funny because I had just three slices of tomato and onion. These tomatoes will cook all to pieces in that onion and it's more green beans and peas. Now, I see that I do not have any corn in there or carrots. Anything else that I might want to add, I can open a can and I usually do whole kernel corn. I'll drain it and add that. But this is going to melt and when it does, <clears throat> excuse me, I will be back and I'll show you what else I've added. But do you see how it was just about probably a fourth or half a cup of each of those. And I saved it. Don't throw it away, especially if you like soup, because you're gonna mix everything together for your soup. Just wanted to show you, and I'll be back when it all comes together. And you don't even have to worry about putting much seasoning because your vegetables have already been seasoned. I usually add some butter, but when this all comes together, I'll be back to show you. Okay, my soup has finished cooking. Of course, it didn't take it long at all. It has been ready for quite a while. And the only thing that I did differently than I showed you earlier was I added one can of whole kernel corn drained and I put another quart of tomatoes. And the reason I did that, I had two containers of leftover vegetables. So it made a big, big pot. Now I didn't set up the overhead camera today to show you, but I think you can tell this is a big, big pot. I'm gonna put some in my bowl to show you, but my mother, I, my mother gave me these dishes. I think it was my mother. It could have been Amy, 
I'm not going to say, but somebody gave me a, a four-place setting of scripture dishes many years ago. So I don't know how you can get them. I'm sure they still sell them. But each bowl and plate and coffee cup has a different scripture. And this one says nothing can separate us from the love of God, Romans 8, 38, and 39. It's probably backwards for you, but I just wanted to show you. And um, that's so true. You know, we never do anything that God stops loving us. I think people use that excuse for being able to sin and just do anything they want to. Well, God loves you. He does. He loves me when I'm doing the worst thing you can possibly imagine. But he loves us enough to give us a choice to turn from our wicked ways and to accept him and to follow him. But anyway, I'm going to show you how the soup looks. And it looks delicious, I'll tell you. Remember, I put, um, I showed you what all was in it. And the rice... Um, made a filler. If you didn't have rice and, and you wanted to, you could put a handful of uh, noodles in it, and as it cooks, that the noodles would, or you don't have to put anything, but save your leftovers. Don't throw them away, because you're going to have the start of a vegetable soup. All you'll have to add it's tomatoes. If you wanted meat in yours, and sometimes I've done it, but most of the time I don't, I would brown some ground beef and put in it. But use what you have. I thank you for joining me. I have already shared this recipe before, but I wanted to give you an example when I open it up and show you the leftovers. Anyway, be salt and light. Let others see Jesus in you. I'll be back soon.